Good afternoon. Just briefly to give an update of where we are. Um, I know the noon update may be out, but I'll read the numbers from yesterday as I haven't received the noon update as we're here. Right now we have 345 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in St. John Parish with 24 deaths. The safety and health of our residents are first and foremost, and I believe the addition of a testing site in St. John Parish will help us quantify the local impact of COVID-19, give our residents medical assistance in the parish, and also supply officials with the information we need to make informed decisions on behalf of our community. In collaboration with St. John the Baptist Parish, the Louisiana Department of Health, and Ashner Medical Complex, Ashner River Parishes will offer drive-through COVID-19 testing three days per week starting Tuesday, April 17th through Thursday, April 9th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Together, the partners will, will offer drive-through testing to enhance access for residents of St. John. The frequency of testing will be evaluated based on a community need on a week-by-week -week basis. Drive-through testing will be available to residents of St. John the Baptist Parish who are symptomatic from 9 to 12 p.m. or until the day's allotted tests have been administered. St. John Parish residents who have received a physician's order for COVID-19 testing will have scheduled appointments from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Again, from 9 a.m. to noon at our Oshner site in Laplace, testing will be available, drive-through testing will be available for St. John the Baptist Parish residents who are 18 years and older and are experiencing symptoms associated with COVID-19. Residents will be asked to provide a valid ID or driver's license to prove their, re their residency and testing will be limited and will be available in a first come, first serve basis. And we will continue, as I stated, to do drive-through testing each day at this site until our demand goes down. And the testing will continue Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Afternoon, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., testing will still be available for St. John the Baptist Parish residents who have been evaluated by an Oshner physician through a virtual visit. During this time, a physician order will be required. Residents should enter the drive-through testing location through the rear entrance of Oshner Medical Complex, and there will be signage and direction uh, out there. And patients will remain in their vehicles for testing. An Oshner provider will contact the patient with the results once they become available. I wanna stress again to our residents, we need to treat COVID-19 like the serious virus that it is. We have been impacted in numbers and in deaths. That's why it was so important that we continue to expand our testing capacity in St. John Parish because every day as the numbers come in, we see that we have coronavirus in St. John. And we will continue to work, we will continue to increase capacity, and we will continue to do everything we need to do until we rid coronavirus out of our parish, our state, and our country. I will accept any questions at this time, if there are any. Right. It is very alarming, you know, when we see the numbers every single day to see our numbers rise. We know that there was some lag in testing results coming in. And so as numbers come on, we know that these are from tests from behind. Um, right now, my number one priority is keeping the residents of St. John Parish safe. However, once we get past this portion of the crisis, I will take a further dive to see exactly what the testing, what those numbers more accurately reflected. The drive-through testing will be from 9 to 12. It will begin tomorrow at 9 a.m. And let me just say this, we have been testing here in St. John. Our urgent care facility has been testing 
um, symptomatic patients. Our Oshner ER facility has been testing patients who were symptomatic and presented an underlying risk factor. But I know that we have residents in St. John who have coronavirus symptoms without an underlying risk factor who we need to increase capacity for testing for them as well. Someone like myself, 42 year, years old without an underlying risk factor, if I would go to Oshner ER and only have symptoms, I would not be able to be tested. And I've said that we need to remove those restrictions and allow those patients who have symptoms to be tested regardless of whether or not they have a risk factor because we want to be able to easily identify those patients who are positive for coronavirus so that they can take those protective measures and self-quarantine. So to your question, testing will begin tomorrow at 9 a.m. It will be drive-through. Residents will not need to get out of their car. St. John Parish residents, so make sure you have an ID state-issued ID or any ID that will prove your residency. I've asked Oshner to be liberal with this, right, in case someone doesn't have an actual driver's license, but we want to make sure that we have St. John residents have this access. And it will continue until 12 noon or until the daily um, test allotment has been depleted. And then if you come in on Tuesday and are not able to be tested, they're going to start back again on Wednesday at 9 a.m. And then after that allotment of testing has been completed, whether it's 12 o'clock or the testing allotment has been depleted, then they will move to testing for those individuals who do have a uh, physician, an ordering physician. I also want to tell residents, if you don't have an ordering physician and you come through the drive through that's okay. If you have symptoms, fever, shortness of breath, all of the coronavirus systems, symptoms, you will be tested with or without, and there will be an Oshner physician placed on your information who will contact you with your, with your test results. And I want to thank Oshner. I want to thank the Louisiana Department of Health. I want to thank Congressman Cedric Richmond, Garrett Graves, Governor John Bell Edwards. We have been working very hard on uh, making this a reality because we see the numbers here. We see that we have a need greater than some other areas. And they have all responded to the call of making this a reality, of having drive-through testing, of community testing.